What is the Polis project and how did it come about? The Polis project, whose proposing party is the Ministry of Enterprises and Made in Italy, is part of the National Recovery and Resilience Plan. Thanks to Polis project, Post Italiane fully achieves its goal to allow Italian citizens residing in small municipalities to access public services easily. What population groups will benefit from this project and how? The new single access point to Post Italiane's multi-channel service platform will result greatly helpful, especially for aged citizens traditionally suffering from the digital divide. Inclusion is the core of Polis project, thanks to a strategy that Post Italiane has already been implemented for several years by providing an increasingly advanced type of services to citizens. What challenges is Posta working to overcome while striving to turn post offices into digital hubs? And how is it preparing to address them? According to the strategy implemented by Post Italiane's top management, the transformation of a typical post office into a hub for physical and digital services involves the creation of self-service station for the use of public utilities, evolves ATMs and commerce utilities. Postal offices will be equipped with photovoltaic panels, smart building systems, environmental monitoring sensors and charging station for electric vehicles. Polis, thanks to the digital enhancement, guarantees not only easy of execution and saving of time, but also reduced transport cost and lower polluting emission. The project also includes the creation of a co-working spaces equipped with the ultra-fast fiber connections. Who are the major partners that will help Poste achieve the project goals? Uh, Polis uh, uh, stems from the collaboration between Post Italiane and the states. The company's top management is constantly meeting the representative of the relevant ministries and of all the Italian municipalities involved in order to facilitate the implementation of the chosen roadmap. How can this experience be replicated elsewhere and what can other UPU members learn from it? Every country should be concerned about bridging the digital divide. The UPU, being surrounded by 192 countries, surely represents the perfect platform to promote a similar initiative. And thanks to the International Bureau's support, the project could be declined in the best possible way by making sure that no one would be left behind.